I'm Lugamundo, and today we are going to be looking at Timberborn, episode 20. I can't even imagine that we have gotten this far. Now, what are we seeing today? We are seeing district number, well, it says district number six, but guys, I do need a name for the district, so please, please in the comments, get a name for our district. But anyways, uh, I have... Uh, a brand new district and this all it produces is bots that's all it produces now it produces uh, bot limbs it produces bot heads and bot chassis now we do have the chassis right here uh, these chassis require biofuel so we are going to be doing the biofuel today that's what we're gonna be working on now, how are we going to be doing the biofuel? I honestly have no idea, but um, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I do want to look at my district lengths here. It looks like my district can go over this way, so I might have biofuel produced here, I guess. How is our water source doing? Yes, it looks like everything. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it looks so fantastic. How are we doing on food here? We are 700. Honestly, I'm a bit worried about that. That seems a little bit low. Um, however, our carrot storage is up to 100%, I think. Let's go ahead and look at it. Yeah, carrot storage is all the way up because that bar is all the way up to the top. That means we don't have any more storage available. Also, uh, we don't have any beavers available. Um, we do not have any homeless, but we also have all of our beds occupado. That's fantastic. Now, these guys need gears and treated planks in order to produce metal. Um, you know what, oh, man, I really want to pause that, but I can't, I really got to get this biofuel going, so let's go ahead and, oh, ah, recipe, okay, biofuel from carrots, of course, because we have tons and tons and tons of carrots, does, uh, where's biofuel stored, it's stored in the, the tanks here, so perfect, so these guys are going to be popping biofuel into there, let's see it run into the thing, I want to see it run into the, I want to, I want to see it run into where are they taking the bi- Oh, it's because they have to take the biofuel over to here, right? Because we're actually- Are we providing biofuel yet? Yes, we are. Okay, good. Oh, good, oh, good, oh, good. Um, so he's gonna get some biofuel. Uh, yeah, perfect. They're gonna start producing. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So it looks like we've got three bot heads. Um, a bot chassis. So next thing we need is the assembler. Uh, does this require power? Yes, it does. The assembler can be down here, I suppose. Uh, now, I've got to do a couple of things. I'm sorry, guys. You're going to lose your power here in just a second. Let's go ahead and pause that. Let's delete that because, I, I, you know, I, I just got to do this. Let's do that. Uh, let's make this extremely high priority. They will build it really quick. We'll get someone down there. Um, and just like that, we are up and running. Good. Let's go ahead and grab an, a bot assembler, pop it right here, and that, you know, it's kind of bummer that it's round. Uh, oh, no, it's flat on the side. That's good. We'll put the cabling right into the side of it. That's great. We'll do uh, that, and then we'll do that, and then we'll do that and that. Now, this has to be first. This has to be highest priority. Why? Because they cannot construct things that are just beyond an elbow. It's kind of a little bit of annoying. Uh, but that's just how it works. Hopefully, we have enough materials. Uh, we're going to need gears, planks, and metal blocks. Now, I do believe I'm providing metal blocks. Am I not? Let's go look at the biofuel. Um, they are not filling this up at the time. Uh, I really should have more. I have six more. So, we're going to go ahead and make another biofuel uh, thing. I mean... It's carrots. We've got so many carrots. I can do one more refinery of biofuel. That should not be a problem. Um, I might even do a fourth one uh, just because I can. Yeah, why not? I mean, nothing else is telling us to stop. Uh, we'll just end up producing more carrots, you know? Well, I mean, I've got plenty of places to produce carrots. Now, they're not building this, and it's because they're... They're moving about. Let's go ahead and get a couple more workers in. Um, and let's go ahead and get one more house in. How do I want to do the house? I think what I want to do is I want to do it this way. And we are going to put a house right here. Just a teeny weeny little house. Boom, here. And a teeny, teeny weeny little house there. 
that gives us enough room to provide more uh, little, little goobers, little beavers to this district. It looks like we are uh, almost complete there, uh, but we do just, you know, we need more workers, we need more people. Let's go ahead and migrate some over. So let's go over to this district. Let's go to migrate population. And let's go to uh, Lake Town District 6 right here. Let's increase that by, let's increase it by four. Why not? Now what the bots are gonna do is I want to uh, do terraforming. So we're gonna go here to a dirt excavator mining rig to collect dirt bots only. Only bots are allowed to work here. Well, that's good. So the first thing I want to do is I want to kind of kind of do some things. We're going to plant a dynamite. We're going to explode that. Then we're going to clean, uh, clean up those trees. I do want to put a uh, yep uh, path just like that. And then uh, steps down. Let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. Whoa, what is he doing? Uh, he's injured. Okay, dude, go to bed. Go to bed heal up there is some medical beds here although they are completely full uh looks like these bot factories really are uh the yeah these bot factories really do uh, uh have injuries have a lot of injuries that's not very nice i mean we have so many injured beavers Ooh, and stranded who's stranded oh my goodness so i literally have a beaver who is in the back here and stranded because i put a medical bed there and he was inside when the medical bed was actually, uh, I don't even know why he was inside there. Like, it doesn't even make sense. So we are going to actually put a medical bed all the way back in there. That way they can't get uh, lost. There we go. There's a couple medical beds in there. Not perfect. Now, this says that these guys are all injured. So there's lots of injuries here I'm really worried about. Uh, do I have medicine anywhere? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and demolish one of those. We're gonna put a gatherer here Just like that uh, Because we need that those gatherers to harvest those dandelions. I don't know why they weren't as well We are going to chop down a ton of these trees Right now, um, we're actually gonna demolish them and I know that that sounds terrible But I do need those dandelions to be growing um, so we're gonna do that. Um, hopefully this gatherer, do I have this gatherer here? No, I don't. Let's go ahead and let's, uh, pause this. Let's get a gatherer on here if I can. All right, so definitely having some issues. We're gonna pause this, um, hoping that th there will be an availability here. Kind of, I've, I've run out of places. I need, oh, there we go. There we go. Yes, there we go. He's finally harvesting. So unfortunately, I didn't realize that uh, lumberjacks don't gather dandelions, but you have to use a forester in order to plant dandelions. That's messed up. But uh, for the sake of it, okay. So we're gonna plant all the dandelions because I need these guys. Farmers do not, oh great. So this whole entire time, here I was thinking, that I had a wonderful setup and the farmers were farming the dandelions and so on and so forth. And no, of course not. Um, it's actually the opposite uh, or, you know, it's actually not not the correct way of doing it uh, because <laughs> I need a gatherer to gather dandelions. Great. <laughs> well, that was my mistake, I should say. Um, now, there's nothing to do in range. Now, of course, there isn't because I've gone ahead and harvested those trees. Uh, but I do, well, let's go ahead and get rid of him. I do need to now uproot all of these tree, uh, uh, tree stumps. So we're going to go ahead and uproot all of them that way. Or, and I know I only have one worker, um, and I need two. This district is really lacking. There's a lot of injured beavers and I'm very concerned. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we are going to put down more medical beds i think because i don't believe injured beavers actually do any work they're injured they're not going to work anymore uh which you know that that's the issue going on here that's actually what's what's happening so uh we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make um uh some more uh carrot formed biofuel uh now we're at 5.4 we've kind of dropped down a lot um but uh 
actually, I don't even think they can make more until, yeah, they're completely full. No, they're not full of biofuel. Uh, they're just making it as they need it, I guess. So, sure, that's not a problem at all. How are we doing on our drought? Drought is going pretty well. Um, uh, have they planted the... Oh, they haven't planted because I paused that. That was... Uh, yeah, that was my intelligence. Now, these trees up here, these guys are ready to harvest. Oh, um, yesness. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop in a gatherer. We're going to do a lumberjack. Excuse me, not a gatherer. A lumberjack. And these guys in the morning are going to have themselves a party of a time with so many logs. Uh, it's just going to be amazingly awesome. Uh, looking forward to that. And then these logs, they can actually distribute back out to the other settlements um, as they need them. Because right now we got 100 and we could definitely use more than 100 for sure. Um, so hopefully, uh, oh, uh, hopefully I can get a worker on this at some point. There we go. And he's going to be cutting them down, and then he's going to be taking them down to this place right here. Or actually, haulers will be doing that. Um, I do have some builders. I don't have any extra haulers, um, but that's okay. Uh, these guys will haul as needed. And uh, yeah, so uh, things are things are going well. Things are going fantastically well. Let's take a look, see here at our bot factory. Uh, they have definitely been making bots, but where would I find the new bots? Let's go ahead and slow down. And let's go and see if we can pinpoint a bot right there. There he is. And he says, unemployed. Oh, fantastic. Let's go ahead. Can I actually employ bots here? Oh, I can. So I'm going to have bots making bots. Uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So uh, we're just going to say uh, bot, bot, and bot. Um, once they make the third bot, and then we're going to have a complete bot society here. They won't even need food. They'll just need biofuel. It is going to be epic. <laughs> Absolutely epic. Gotta love it. Uh, let's even unlock bots for this place. Wow, guys. I did not realize that bots actually are a ton more science. I never realized that uh, we were going to need so much more science. So I'm kind of thinking of getting my science observatory back here. Perfect. There we go. We'll put it back where it was. Are we transferring medicines over here? Yes, we are. We're transferring medicines over here, which is excellent. Now, I don't know how many medicines we have. I don't think we have any, really. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to make a tank here. And that is going to be for medicine. Just completely just medicine right there. Because I don't think I'm storing medicine anywhere else, to be honest. Let's go ahead and look. Drought has ended. So let's go and open up our uh, height. There we go. Um, that So it should be all set. It should just start flowing and working like normal. We'll have a little bit of flooding and then it will even itself out. Guys, it has been a fantastic episode. We have seen so much done. We actually have a complete bot factory. We're going to be kind of delivering water, and they'll be pumping water down in. We'll kind of make this fertile ground for a little while. There we go. That looks pretty good. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me today for another episode of Timberborn. We have seen District 6, until we name it, uh, really thrive and become something that is incredible. Cannot wait for bot number three to be finished, and then bots will be creating themselves. This is going to be a completely bot colony. That's my goal, is just have it filled with bots. No actual outside influence from the beavers other than to give them fuel. That's my goal. So anyways, we'll see how that happens in the next episode. I'll catch you guys later. Please like, subscribe, and please join me on Discord if you want to have a chat. And if you want to support the channel, Patreon's always there too. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.